Friends, let's discuss an intriguing phenomenon that's been gaining attention recently. Have you noticed the rise in UFO sightings, unidentified flying objects? I've been seeing a lot of videos, and it's hard to ignore how frequently these occurrences are being reported. What's really happening in our skies? Some might ask, we being watched? Or is there something more to these experiences? While some of these objects may be natural or man-made, others make us question whether we're alone. But as Christians, we need to turn to the Bible for answers. Scripture speaks of two types of celestial beings, good angels who serve God and fallen angels who oppose him. The good angels protect and guide us, as it says in the Bible, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Fallen angels, on the other hand, seek to deceive and destroy. These beings have no loyalty to God and work against his purposes, manipulating and misleading humanity. This may be why we're seeing more confusion about UFOs and extraterrestrial beings, they are part of a greater spiritual deception meant to draw people away from the truth of Jesus Christ. This makes it clear that Jesus Christ has authority over all things, whether seen or unseen. Philippians 2 tells us that after his resurrection, God exalted him to the highest place, and gave him a name above every name, in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. No being, earthly or otherwise, can stand against the power of Jesus' name. I'll leave you with this, let's not get caught up in fear or speculation about UFOs. Instead, let's remember that Jesus is in control. His power is greater than any force in the universe, and by trusting in him, we have nothing to fear. We are witnessing testimonies of people calling on the name of Christ, just as it was mentioned before, if he were just a mythical religious figure, why would these beings fear his name? Are we alone in the universe? With so many galaxies, planets, and stars, it's logical to wonder if intelligent life could exist beyond Earth. These questions, along with the fascination around UFOs and extraterrestrials, spark curiosity in many, including Christians. In truth, most UFO sightings can be explained by natural phenomena. Scientists estimate that about 95% of unidentified flying objects that people report are stars, distant airplane lights, atmospheric gases, weather balloons, satellites, and other ordinary things. Only 5% of sightings remain truly unexplained. And how do we explain that 5%? The Bible speaks about beings that resemble humans and inhabit the spiritual realm, but these beings do not come from distant planets. They belong to the spiritual realm connected to Earth. Ephesians 6 verse 12 says that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. In other words, these beings are demons masquerading as extraterrestrials, seeking to deceive people and divert them from the truth of God. The Bible states that the enemy can disguise himself even as an angel of light. These supernatural manifestations are a way for Satan to mislead people, turning their faith away from God toward imaginary creatures. We must be vigilant to avoid falling into the enemy's traps. Jesus warned us that, in the last days, even the elect could be deceived by such things. Now, I'd like to pray for you. Lord, my God and Father, I thank you for all that you have done in our lives. I thank you for each person here who seeks to know your truth and discernment. 
I present before you those who have had supernatural experiences or feel fear and oppression. I ask you to surround them with your angels and grant them the necessary spiritual discernment to distinguish what comes from you and what does not. Father, the world is full of deception, and we don't want to be lost. We want to walk the narrow path that leads to eternal life with Jesus. I rebuke, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of deception, all lies of the enemy, and I ask that you protect our families and homes. Shield us, Lord, so that we do not fall into the enemy's traps. I ask that you open the eyes of everyone around us to the truth that is Jesus Christ, and may this message reach many people, touching their hearts and freeing them from deception. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen. If you're seeking comfort, inspiration, and a deeper connection with God, you're in the right place. Subscribe to our channel for uplifting prayers and spiritual guidance that can help you start your day with positivity and purpose. Don't miss out. Hit the notification bell to be the first to receive our latest videos. Together, we can strengthen our faith and support one another on this incredible journey of life. Share your thoughts. We want to hear from you. Leave a comment below with your prayer requests or topics you'd like us to cover. Your voice matters and we're here to pray for you. Spread the love. If you know someone who could use a little encouragement, share this video with them. Let's make a difference together. Thank you for being part of our community. Remember, you are never alone, God is with you every step of the way.